Okay, in this video we're going to talk about how to build a preventative maintenance task list in MateSmart. Now you'll have needed to watch the previous video on creating task groups and tasks. Alright, so I went into the yellow background oil can and all the yellow background buttons represent configuration or setup in MateSmart. So we are going to set up a PM task list. Now the PMs work a little different than the standard work order screen and this requires a bit of explanation. The work orders are essentially a unit of work. They could be a project, they could be a PM, a repair, it could be anything. And you can do your repetitive preventative maintenance tasks in the work order screen and many of our users elect to do so. However, we've also added a preventive maintenance task list screen that's dedicated to what we call quick and dirty calendar based PMs. Very simple. The differences between the two are the work orders when you create a new work order you're actually creating a new data record in the database that didn't exist previously with the preventive maintenance, or I'll call it PMs, the PM screen, these tasks are created once here under tab 5 under the yellow oil can. Thereafter, when we close them out, they simply roll over and recycle. And what I mean by this is the PM that's closed is archived into history so we know who closed it, how long it took, any parts they may have used, and so on and then that PM is rolled over with a new start date and a new due date. So by doing it this way it's very simple to close out many PMs and track a lot of individual tasks if that's what you want to do and it doesn't require near the effort that it would to manage the same work under the work order screen. Okay so let's move forward with this. This screen is a little bit different. We do have four buttons down here like the rest of the screens in the program, but they operate uh, slightly different. So this one says Add on it. I'm going to click that first. And we'll notice we have a vertical separator line right here. On the left side of this, we have our plant, top of our equipment hierarchy. We have the equipment to add tasks to. Okay, so this is the equipment we're building the PM list for. We have a start date. This will be the initial start date. And I'll go ahead and back this up a little. And then we have who's assigned to. So we can pick someone. If we pick use default, Mate Smart will take the person that's assigned to the work area location, if any. Okay, so each person has an assigned work area location. This one person here has the air compressor room. So all the equipment there is assigned. This is kind of like a zone maintenance type thing. Um, not necessary to use this. It's just an option. So if we do pick the use default, uh, the program will look at the work area location where this equipment is located and then automatically assign it to whoever is assigned to that work area location. In this case, we're just going to go ahead and pick somebody. All right, so on the right side of this separator line, we have tasks. How do we add the tasks to this particular piece of equipment? Now I see we already have one task on this one. So I can pick another task. I can pick an interval. Now typically in Mate Smart, the drop down boxes you cannot type into. However, the interval drop down boxes you can type into. I click Save and it adds the task. So let's see what we have so far. I'm going to go to the PM update screen. This is where we would close our PMs and this is covered in another video. And we can see we do actually have a PM list going here. So let's bring it up and see what it looks like. Okay, well it's not terribly impressive but we really haven't done a whole lot with it either. So there it is. There's two items. And that's basically our PM list so far. So we can embellish this quite a bit. Um, let's start by doing this first. Let's go ahead and edit this list. 
So by editing, essentially we're just adding more PMs. That's what we just did a moment ago. And we're changing something about it. That's editing it. Another way we could edit it is maybe we want to change the interval. We can select the row, right click, pick change PM interval. Maybe we want to go with the 30 day. Okay. So that's another way to edit the PM list. Something else you can do here is you can sequence the tasks. If you want the tasks to be done in a particular order, the way this is done is you come down and you check the sequence checkbox. And I'm going to go ahead and do auto increment. And I'll just click these. And when I uncheck sequence, it numbers them. Okay, now these can actually be shown on the PM list in this order if you'd like. Okay, so that's basically building a simple preventive maintenance task list. In the next video, I'll get into how to create many task lists very quickly through task packages, job list templates, and copying one PM list onto another.